So Pompe disease is actually um, not only a lysosomal storage disorder, but it's also a glycogen storage disorder, GSD2. And so the enzyme deficiency leads to the accumulation or the inability to break down glycogen and then it accumulates throughout the cell because of the acid maltase deficiency. Uh, so Pompe disease also has a spectrum of disease. It can present in infancy with the most severe form, um, leading with uh, cardiomyopathy, severe hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, respiratory difficulty, failure to thrive, hypotonia, and weakness. These infants are very ill and they require respiratory support and immediate intervention. With the advent of enzyme replacement therapy, it's been life-saving. These infants go on to survive, whereas they would die by the age of two. So lumazyme, which is an enzyme produced uh, that is FDA approved, um, has completely revolutionized the, the, um, the, the natural history of this disorder. Now that we're treating these patients, we are seeing some developmental issues in the patients that we didn't see before because the children didn't live long enough. So we're learning more about this disorder um, as the natural history changes since we're able to, to uh, rescue the, the cardiac phenotype. We can actually reverse the cardiomyopathy with this enzyme replacement therapy. It's absolutely amazing. Um, but on the other side, there is a, an adult form, or late onset Pompe disease form. And that is interesting because that presents more with a muscular, neuromuscular phenotype without significant cardiac impact at all and some respiratory issues. So patients can complain of proximal muscle weakness, so difficulty starting with up and down stairs or getting up from a seated position. Others will complain of shortness of breath with um, exercise intolerance or at night uh, sleep issues. And so this respiratory insufficiency can be quite severe, requiring non-invasive mechanical uh, ventilation at, at night, CPAP, BiPAP, um, and need to be followed quite closely by a pulmonologist, and they might present to a pulmonologist with these, the, these abnormalities. Um, the muscle disease, so the patient could present to a neuromuscular clinic or a neurologist, initially with exercise intolerance or pain, and then an elevated creatine kinase um, uh, to, to, to show that there is a myopathic process going on. And they might be misdiagnosed with limb girdle muscular dystrophy. And actually they have an enzyme deficiency that's treatable. So lumazyme is also used to treat the late onset form. And we do find some stabilizing effect of the enzyme therapy. However, it's not sustained over time. And patients do tend to uh, decline eventually. And because of that, uh, there is a lot of research going on to develop better therapies for Pompe disease. Um, so one company has developed a, a better enzyme. Genzyme's looking at a new formulation of their enzyme. Um, uh, so they're re re recruiting here at NYU for that study for newly diagnosed patients with both muscle weakness and respiratory uh, difficulty. And another company is looking at a combination of the enzyme, their formulation of their enzyme with a chaperone therapy to kind of help deliver the enzyme to the lysosome to, to help with that. And that we're currently um, looking for patients for that trial as well. So down the road, and eventually there is talk of gene therapy to develop a uh, viral vector that can carry the gene throughout the muscle all the muscles and that's a very daunting process but that's in the works as well and hopefully that'll be brought forward soon.